Everbee has a great tool now where you can set up an Everbee shop. What this means is that you can essentially take control over the fate of your store. In addition to selling on Etsy and other print-on-demand platforms, you can set up your own website and sell directly to consumers. Now in this video, I'm going to walk through how you can add a product to your Everbee store. Let's jump in. I'll put a link to Everbee in the video description below. I use Everbee a lot. Whether it's digital downloads or print-on-demand designs, Everbee is a great tool that gives you niche research information. It's really, really cool. Just a heads up, the link is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you purchase something, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend them. There is a free plan, by the way. So if you sign up, you can select the free plan and that just gives you some limited search results. But overall, it's a great way to get your feet wet and check out niche research tools like Everbee or setting up your own Everbee store. All right, so here I am on my Zen Water Cooler store. You can follow this along in real time at zenwatercooler.myeverbee.com. You can see here my setup guide is started. I've got two things I need to do here. I need to add my first product and I need to set up my Stripe payment. So we're not gonna worry about Stripe in this video. I'm gonna click on add your first product. Now there's three types of products that you can add. There's a digital download, there's a handmade or physical good, and there's print on demand products. And I'm gonna show you how to add all three in this video. So let's jump in here. Okay, so the first product we're gonna add is a digital download. Okay, so on this main page, I'm gonna click on add your first product right over here on the right hand side. Okay, and a very simple screen opens up here where I can add in my product title, my product description, and here's the kicker right there. You can attach your digital product and you can make this now a digital listing either with a link or you can upload a file depending on the size of your upload. All right, so I'm gonna list my Dragon SVG file. Now, full disclaimer, I grabbed this from a public domain website, so I'm just using this as an example for this video, but you can pretend that you've made a digital download like an SVG or a PNG file or a bundle. And in this case, I wanna make sure that this attached digital product is turned on, and then I'm going to select the file option, and now I'm going to attach my file right here. Okay, and I've attached a white PNG file and a black PNG file, and that's going to be my two digital downloads. So again, you may wanna make this more complex. You could have a zip file or a series of files, but for today's video, it's pretty straightforward. We have two PNG files here. Now at the very top, I'm gonna to type in my product title. Okay, so I've typed in minimalist black Chinese dragon PNG vector, and I've got my description here. Now, you can spend as much or as little time as you want using product descriptions. I would recommend having a robust product description in here, listing in a fun style that gets the consumer excited. And then down here at the bottom, you wanna make sure it says instant download available, no physical item will be shipped. And then here I've got my files attached down below. Next up, you can put a thumbnail right here under product preview. So I'm gonna click the upload button and I'm gonna upload a 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels preview file, a thumbnail. And we can see that is a good looking thumbnail right there. Okay, now before I hit next over on the right hand side, there is a piece that I missed and there's a category selection right here on the right hand side. So you might miss this piece, it is mandatory. If you click next, it will give you an error and it will say, hey, you gotta fill this in. So no worries if you forget it your first time through. Now I will select my category. Now there's lots and lots of different categories here. So you can use the search feature as well. And I'm gonna select this one here, digital audio visual works downloaded single purchase. So we can see here the product category now is on the right hand side and I will click next. Okay, now I'm gonna list my current price. So I'm gonna list it say for $4. My cost per item, I'm actually gonna list it at zero because it's a digital download. And now I'm gonna select next. Now there's a personalization piece here. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but over on the right, we're gonna see there's product tags and I've added in some tags here with a comma separating them. Right now I'm gonna have my optimization turned on for my search engine listing. This is the text that will show up in the search engine. So it's gonna read that over time. My page title here, minimalist black Chinese dragon PNG vector. My meta description is down below and I'll click create product. Okay, and we can see here on my main page, I've got a products tab and we've got my listing sitting right here. I can actually preview it by clicking the little eyeball button or I can go right to the site and I can click preview and we can see here on my store, I've got it listed for $4. And when I click on it, we'll see it comes up and I can add to cart and I could purchase this. Now I do wanna point out, I need to set up my Stripe account, but for right now, I've successfully added a product into my store, which is a digital download. Next up, 
Let's add a physical product. Now this could be something that you've made yourself or it could be something that you're selling like a reseller, for example. I'm gonna sell an action figure. I'm gonna list it on my Everbee shop. Okay, so on my main dashboard, we'll see where it normally would say add your first product. This is actually gone because I have added a product already. So what you're gonna do in this case is expand out this dashboard. So I'm gonna click this button right here to expand it. And then from here, I'm gonna go down to products and I'm gonna click on products. We can see now all my products are listed and I can simply click here, add product on the right hand side. Okay, now I'm gonna add my product title. Okay, so I've added in my product title here, Masters of the Universe Origin Skeletor Action Figure. I've got my product description listed and I've got the about this item listed. So I'm happy with that. And now down below, I'm gonna upload my product preview. So there's my picture of my actual action figure that I'm going to sell. Over here on the right, I'm gonna click next. Okay, so I've selected other here as my product category. You can always change it later if you like. And the product visibility is set to public, but you could list a bunch of stuff in advance and private and then flip it to public at a later time if you so choose. I'm gonna select next. Here, I can put in my inventory. Now I've selected three. I have three action figures in stock and the current pricing is 30 as what I'm gonna list it for. Happened to cost me $15 when I went out and bought them. From there, I'll select next. I don't want personalization. Here I'm gonna put some product tags in and then down below you would hit publish or in this case update if you've already published it. I'll click update. And here we can see the Masters of the Universe action figure is sitting as published. I would always recommend that you check it out ASAP on your website. So I'm gonna go here to preview site and that opens up my main page here. I'm gonna click home. That takes me to my main page. I can see products down below. I'm gonna click on it. And that looks really nice. I'm happy with the spelling. I'm happy with the way this looks. The thumbnail looks good. This is fantastic. And I'm well on my way now to making profit selling physical goods on my Everbee shop. The third type of product you can list on your Everbee shop is a print on demand product. And so what I'm gonna to do to do that now is over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna expand my dashboard. I'm gonna to go to products, click on products. And then here I'm gonna click on add product. Okay, so when you're on your products page, if you click on add product, it'll take you to this page where you can add either a digital product or a physical product. But we don't wanna do either one of those things. What we wanna do is add a print on demand product. So what I'm gonna do is on the left hand side, under apps and integration, I'm going to click on all apps. And from here, I've got an option now to do subscriptions or printify. Printify is a print-on-demand supplier that partners with you. When you make a sale, Printify ships the item right to the customer. So I'm going to click install. Now you're going to have to give consent for Printify to access your items on your shop, which is fine. I'll click approve. And then from here, you've got an option now to connect your Printify account right to your Everbee store. So when I do this, I'll click connect. It's actually gonna take me right to Printify where I can log in and I can create a product which will then interface with Everbee. So I would recommend signing up for Printify if you're interested in selling print-on-demand goods and you can check out the catalog of items that they offer and you can see the different benefits to signing up with Printify. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. You can follow along in real time on my Zen water cooler store. I'll be removing these products because they're not real. This is just a training shop, but you never know what's gonna show up on the Zen Water Cooler store. Make sure to check out Everbee. The Everbee store is a really cool feature. The link is in the video description below. And if you're interested in learning more about the Everbee store, check out this video right now.